Good evening. This 23rd meeting of the 73rd term of the Baltimore City Council is now called to order. Members of the council, due to us being in a virtual meeting, please note that I will recognize you by saying you have the floor. Once I recognize you, please state your name and then begin to speak. This evening's invocation will be given by Bishop Lisa Wee, Weeha of New Bethlehem, New Bethlehem Baptist Church. Bishop Weah, thank you for joining us. The floor is yours. Is the bishop here? And looking, we are missing the bishop. And um, Councilman Glover needs to be elevated. So what we're going to do is just have a quick minute, Nat, unless um, Matt, unless you want us to wait a minute, we can just have a quick, um, brief moment of silent prayer. We'll have one a one minute of a moment of silence. Thank you. Now we will have the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Okay, this evening showcase Baltimore presentation will be given by Sarah Fawcett of Aziza PE and CE, often referred to as just AP. This organization uses the arts, fashion, fitness, music, and mentoring to help girls, gender expansive, and LGBTQ youth address mental health and personal development challenges. Saren, are you here? Madam Vice President, you're muted right now. Thank you. We're going to move on. The clerk will call the roll of the members. Vice President Middleton, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Stokes, Glover. Ramos, Madam Vice President, we have a quorum. Thank you. We will now proceed to the adoption of the journal. Without objection, the journal will be adopted. Hearing none, the journal is adopted. Communication from the mayor can be found beginning on page two of the agenda. We now turn to executive nominations. The clerk will read the first nomination. EA 21-0071 Ramsey Harris, member Affordable Housing Trust Fund Commission. This nomination has been assigned to the Rules and Oversight Committee. EA 21-0072 C. Matthew Hill, member Affordable Housing Trust Fund Commission. This nomination has been assigned to the Rules and Oversight Committee. EA 21-0073, Harry Mayo, Member Licensing for Towing Services Board. This nomination has been assigned to the Rules and Oversight Committee. 
A21-0074, Catherine Stokes, member Affordable Housing Trust Fund Commission. This nomination has been assigned to the Rules and Oversight Committee. We will now move to bills being introduced for first reading. Clerk, please read the first bill. City Council Bill 21-0182, sale of property 900 through 912 Baltic Avenue for the purpose of authorizing the mayor and city council of Baltimore to sell at either public or private sale, all its interest in certain property located at 900 through 912. 12 Baltic Avenue, Block 7271, Lot 001, and no longer needed for public use and providing for a special effective date. Sponsor is President Mosby on behalf of the Comptroller. This bill has been assigned to Ways and Means Committee. City Council Bill 21-0183, WSS Hanover Street, for the purpose of authorizing the mayor and the city council of Baltimore to sell at either public or private sale, all its interest in certain property that is located at WSS Hanover Street, known as 1996 South Hanover Street, and is no longer needed for public use and providing for a special effective date. Sponsor is President Mosby on behalf of the comptroller. This bill has been assigned to the Ways and Means Committee. City Council Bill 21-0184, Sale of property 606 South Ann Street for the purpose of authorizing the mayor and the city council of Baltimore to sell at either public or private sale, all its interest in certain property that is located at 606 South Ann Street and is no longer needed for public use and providing for a special effective date. Sponsor is Councilmember Cohen. Councilman Cohen, would you like Yes, ma'am. I could say a few words about your bill. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Um, thank you, Madam Vice President. Um, the library, as it is, as it once was, unfortunately has fallen under hard times. Um, the building itself has been in disrepair for quite a while and has created a real community eyesore and is essentially um, blight in the middle of Fells Point. Um, the community is incredibly adamant that we have got to do better with this space. Um, that's why uh, DHCD has been working with all of the different residents associations and business groups to develop a plan. We have begun to contract and this will enable us to sell the building to an architect and developer who is local, lives in the neighborhood, and has a great interest in Fells Point and its continued well-being. Um, what I'm excited about here is that he is committed to maintaining public space, both in and outside of the building, um, and that community will continue to have a real role in this former library. Um, so again, thank you, Madam Vice President, and thank you, colleagues. Thank you. This bill has been assigned to the Ways and Means Committee. City Council Bill 21-0185, Zoning Conditional Use Conversion of Single Family Dwelling Unit to Eight Dwelling Units in the R8 Zoning District, Variances, 2044 Walbrook Avenue. For the purpose of permitting, subject to certain conditions, the conversion of a single family dwelling unit to eight dwelling units in the R8 zoning district of the property known as 2044 Walbrook Avenue, as outlined in red on the accompanying plat and granting variances from certain bulk regulations, gross floor area per unit type, and off street parking requirements. Sponsor is Councilmember Torrance. Councilmember Torrance, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, the residents of the community, as well as community association, have all agreed to this um, conversion, especially the uh, the adjoining actual row homes, as well as the entire block in the community voted on this. So, with that, I ask them on their their behalf. Thank you. This bill has been assigned to the Economic and Community Development Committee. City Council Bill Twenty One Zero One Eight Six. 
zoning conditional use conversion of single family dwelling unit to three dwelling units in the R7 zoning district variance 1635 Gwens Falls Parkway for the purpose of permitting subject to certain conditions, the conversion of a single family dwelling unit to three dwelling units in the R7 zoning district on the property known as 1635 Gwens Falls Parkway as outlined in red on the accompanying plat and granting a variance from certain bulk regulations. Sponsor is Council Member Torrance. Council Member Torrance, would you like to speak? Similar to the previous legislation, um, the community and uh, the adjoining neighbors, as well as the block and the community association have all agreed and accept this um, conversion. Thank you. This bill has been assigned to the Economic and Community Development Committee. We will now move to resolutions being introduced for first reader readings. Clerk, please read the first resolution. City Council Resolution 21-0083R, Investigative Hearing, Baltimore City Sheriff's Office Eviction Procedures. For the purpose of inviting representatives from the Baltimore City Sheriff's Office, the Department of Housing and Community Development, concerned citizens, and other interested parties to appear before the City Council to inform the Council about the current procedure followed by the Sheriff's Office during the eviction process, any recurring problems that need to be addressed, any improvements that can be made to facilitate communication of the Sheriff's Office ability to appear at a, res as a, at a residence on a designated day and time, and any efforts to improve general eviction procedures. Sponsors are Councilmember Burnett, Bullock, and Porter. Do we have any other um, sponsors? Um, please add um, Vice President Middleton to this bill as well. Cohen as well, please. And um, I see Councilman Torrance, Councilman Cohen, and that's it. Almost. I'm sorry. Councilwoman oh, Ramos. And Councilwoman Ramos. Anyone else? Councilman Burnett, you're on. And Dorsey. Oh, add Councilman Dorsey. And Glover. And Councilman Glover. Anyone else? Councilman Burnett, it's yours. Uh, thank you, Madam Vice President, and to all of the co-sponsors. Um, so uh, the intent of this bill is to speak with the Sheriff's de Department and a few other agencies that we will be reaching out to uh, ahead of the hearing uh, to talk about the eviction procedures, how they go about it, how they communicate with residents, with tenants, with property owners. Um, additionally, with resources are, are made available uh, ahead of time to prevent eviction. Uh, I know that uh, last term we passed legislation um, in which the Sheriff's Department agreed to include a list of resources when posting uh, information on evictions. Um, and, and so just trying to make sure that uh, as we continue to move through this pandemic and more and more people are feeling the impact, um, the economic impact and hardships that the pandi pandemic has created, that we are um, ensuring that the procedures that take place um, can, can help prevent evictions and or that uh, prevent harm um, to to folks who may be going through hard times. Additionally, we've had some questions that were raised about process from um, uh, folks that ha have assisted us with uh, dealing with squatters. Um, we had a situation uh, in which a uh, a person had hired a locksmith um, to help change the locks once the squatter, uh, a person that was squatting in the property illegally um, left. But then the sheriff didn't show up, didn't communicate that. So the person that was on fixed in income had to still pay the locksmith for their time. And apparently this is a, a common occurrence in which there may be some communication gaps. So it's a pretty complicated issue. And I'm hoping that we can discuss all aspects of, and I think sort of also just fits in alignment with what this council has been trying to do, which is prevent eviction from happening in the first place and making sure that uh, renters have everything they need to stay in their homes, um, as we, especially as we go into the winter months. So again, thank you, um, Madam Vice President, for the time to be able to speak, and thanks to all the co-sponsors for this bill. Looking forward to a good discussion and committee. Thank you. This resolution has been assigned to the Economic and Community Development Committee. City Council Resolution 21-0084R, Informational Hearing, Implementation of the Water for All Program and the Water Accountability and Equity Act. 
for the purpose of requesting representatives from the Department of Public Works, the Department of Finance, and the Office of the Baltimore City Administrator to inform the Baltimore City Council on the implementation of the Water for All Discount Program and the Water Accountability and Equity Act. Sponsors are Councilmember Ramos, Bullock, and Porter. And please add Middleton to this bill. Are there any other takers? I see Burnett. And Councilwoman Ramos, you're on. Cohen too, please. And add Councilman Cohen. And Glover. And Glover. Any other takers? Torrance. Torrance. Councilwoman Ramos, you're on. Thank you so much, Madam Vice President, and thank you colleagues. Um, this resolution uh, comes out of the other hearings that we've been having about our water billing issues. Um, the Water Accountability and Equity Act was passed by the previous council. Um, and then there was a uh, an amendment to it that was passed by the previous council. Um, and it has not been implemented quite yet. Uh, some parts of it have, some haven't. And this hearing will give the um, DPW, a, a Department of Public Works, a chance to give us the full scale of what's happening with implementation. Uh, and I'm uh, particularly concerned about the Water for All program. Um, no new applications have been added to the current BH20 program, which gives us, um, you know, the water discounts currently. Um, and so there have been some people that have not been able to get discounts. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this up and running in the next uh, couple months. And this is a time, this will be a hearing to get um, all of those uh, details, including the dispute resolution pieces and then enrollment goals, um, which were in the Water Accountability and Equity Act. Um, so I'm looking forward to the hearing and thank you, uh, Madam Vice President and colleagues. Thank you. This bill has been assigned to the Rules and Oversight Committee. You can find the consent calendar in section A at the back of the agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent calendar? So moved. So moved by Conway. Well, well, second, I'll second. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, I, yeah, I think it's moved by Burnett. I'll second it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought that was your voice. Okay, moved by Burnett, second by Conway. All those in favor of approving the consent calendar, say aye. 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 Those opposed, say nay. The motion carries and the calendar is approved. We will now move to bills on second reader. And um, is Councilman Costello on with us? He is, yes. Okay, I don't think his audio is connected. Um, could I have someone uh, ask for short titles for remainder of the meeting? Uh, Madam Vice President. Conway. I uh, move we move the short titles for the remainder of the meeting. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. We will now move to short titles for the remainder of the meeting. Council Bill 21-0122, Franchise Installation of Five Utility Duct Banks. I move the bill favorable. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor of approving this bill say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. The bill is approved and will be printed for third reader. Council Bill 21-0123, Franchise, Underground Conduit, and Fiber Optic Cable. Um, this bill was heard on November 16th, as well as the previous bill. Uh, the committee approved a, te a technical amendment to correct a number used to identify the developer's agreement. I move the amendment. Second. I move Conway. Yep. Second. I move the bill favorable as amended. Second. Second. Um, I move the amendments. Second. 
Okay, moved and second. I move the bill favorable as amended. Madam President, I believe we need to vote on the amendments and then the bill mm -hmm. after voting on the amendments. That's right. All those opposed say aye. All those opposed say nay. All those opposed say nay. The bill is approved as amended. Did I do that right? Point of order, uh, Madam yeah. Vice President. I, we have to move the amendments first, mm -hmm. and then we'll move the bill. That's correct. So the committee, we approve the technical amendment to correct the number used to, develop, to identify developer, developer's agreement. So I move the amendments. Second. And now we got, we have to vote. So Full vote. all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed aye. say nay. The amendments are adopted. Okay. I move the bill favorable as amendment. Is there a second? second. All those in favor of approving. Point of order, Madam Chair. Um, um, didn't Councilwoman Porter have a floor amendment? That's no, not um, on this. that's an. Oh, I'm sorry. Madam that's Chair, not I'm sorry. on this. That's not on this. Um, yes, ma'am. It's for twenty one zero zero eight three. Not this. Oh, bill later on, Excuse Councilwoman. Me. Yep. Thank you. My apologies. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. So back to this. So I move the bill favorable as amended. Is there a second? Second. Come All those in favor of approving the bill say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. The bill is approved as amended. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Health, Environment, and Technology Committee. Um, and that's Chairwoman McCray. Thank you, Madam Vice President. The Health, Environment, and Technology Committee held a hearing on the resolution on Wednesday, November 17th. And actually, I'm sorry, I don't even think that Nikki said the um, the short title. I apologize, Madam Clerk. No oh, problem. she did not. Go ahead. <laughs> Council Resolution 21-0069R, Investigative Hearing, Well-Being of the Transgender Community in Baltimore. Thank you for recognizing that, Chairwoman McCray. Okay, and thank you, Madam Vice President. So just again, the Health, Environment, and Technology Committee, we did hold a hearing on the resolution on Wednesday, November the 17th, and I moved the resolution favorable. Second. And? Second by Conway. All those, I'm sorry, all those in favor of adopting the resolution say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. Hearing none, the resolution is adopted. Moving on to rules and oversight. Chairman yes. Schleifer. Oops, we got to read uh, the, for the bill first. EA 21-0062, <laughs> Alice Kennedy, Commissioner, Department of Housing and Community Development. Um, Chairman Slifer, you're on. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Vice President. Uh, the Rules and Legislative Oversight Committee uh, has been very active uh, since our last meeting. We held meetings on November 18th and December 2nd, um, and we'll be bringing eight executive appointments, all favorable. So I'd like to move this nominee favorable. Second. All those in favor of approving the nomination say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. The nomination is approved. EA 21-0063, Dr. Yvonne Bronner, Member Commission on the Aging and Retirement Education. Uh, I recognize Chairman Schleifer. Move this nominee favorable. Is second. there a second? Second by, is that Conway? Yes. All those in favor approving the nomination say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Hearing none, the nomination is approved. 
EA 21-0064, Odessa Dorkins, member, Commission on the Aging and Retirement Education. I recognize Chairman Seifert. Is this nominee favorable? Second. All those in favor approving the nomination say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. The nomination is approved. EA 21-0065, Claudia Balog, member, Commission on Aging and Retirement Education. I recognize Chairman Slifer. To move this nominee favorable. Second. All those in favor of approving the nomination say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay, the nomination is approved. I recognize Chairman Slifer. Whoops. You got to read it again. <laughs> I'm jumping. 21-0066 Otis W. Freeman, member Board of Municipal and Zoning Appeals. I recognize Chairman Slifer. Move this nominee favorable. Second. All those in favor of approving the nomination say aye. Those opposed aye. say nay. Aye. Aye. The nomination is approved. I recognize. Oops, you got to read it again. <laughs> EA 21-0067, Thomas Akris, member Board of Licensing for Towing Services. I recognize Chair Chairman Slifer. To move this nominee favorable. Second. Second. All those in favor of approving the nomination say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. Hearing none, the nomination is approved. EA 21-0068, Jason Begu, member Mayor's Commission on Disabilities. I recognize Chairman Slifer. The nomination favorable. Second. All those in favor of approving the nomination say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. The, hearing none, the nomination is approved. I recognize Chairman Slifer. A21-0069, Gary Crum, member, Commission on Sustainability. I recognize Chairman Slifer. I can move the nomination favorable. Second. All those in favor of approving the nomination say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. The nomination is approved. We turn now to bills on third reader for final passage. The clerk will read the bill and call the roll. 21-0083, Franchise Gas Regulator Station Utility at Lower Gwynn's Falls Park. And I recognize um, Councilwoman Porter to introduce an amendment. Councilwoman Porter, are you there? I'm yes, I am. I'm so sorry, Madam Chair. I'm having some technical difficulties. Um, okay. Earlier, I'm sorry, <laughs> earlier today, um, I sent around a floor amendment um, to my colleagues to um, to put the fee assessment at zero. So um, I'm hoping that you all support this particular amendment. If you have any questions, we can talk about it now. Um, Madam Chair, I move the floor amendment. Um, I move the floor amendment uh, for approval. Is there a second? Second. Having been moved and seconded, all those in favor of the amendment, please say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. Hearing none, the amendment is approved. Per City Council Rule 12-3B, this bill will be held over and be back up for final passage at our meeting on Thursday. 21-0109, City Property, renaming Calverton Elementary middle school to Katherine Johnson Global Academy. Vice President Middleton, Councilmember Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Stokes, Glover, Ramos. This bill is approved. Uh, Madam Vice President, point, point of order. Uh, we didn't vote on uh, 0083. We just voted on the amendment. Um, yeah. it, it's going to be held. We voted in earlier in second reader, right? 
it's held for one year. Okay. So it would be so um, because of rule 12-3b, um, that's why it gets held over. And then it's going to be, um, you know, because of the amendment it has to be held for another meeting. Yes. Got it. During Thank third, you. when an amendment is put in during a third reading, we have to do it that way. Got it. Thank you for clarifying. Sure. No problem. So um, we were so 21-0109 has been approved, correct? Okay. That's correct. Yep. Now we're on 21-0154. 21-0154 has sale of property 1201 North Rosedale Street. Vice President Middleton, Councilmember Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway. Schleifer, Middleton, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Stokes, Glover, and Ramos. This bill is approved. 21-0167, High Performance Market Rate Rental Housing Tax Credit Citywide Application Extension, Vice President Middleton, Councilmember Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, no. Conway. Um, there was a no for Councilman Dorsey. Conway, Schleifer, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Stokes, Glover, Ramos. This bill is approved. 21-0168 tax credit to historic properties application extension vice president middleton councilmember cohen mccray dorsey no. conway schleifer torrance burnett block porter costello stoke Glover, Ramos. Let the record reflect the no vote for Councilman Dorsey, um, but this bill is approved. 21-0169, High Performance Newly Constructed Dwellings Tax Credit Application Extension, Vice President Middleton, Councilmember Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, no. Conway, Schleifer, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Stokes, Glover, Ramos. And let the record reflect a no vote for Councilman Dorsey, but again, this bill is approved. Members, the clearing of the bill status list can be found on page eight of the agenda. If you see an ordinance or resolution on the list you would like to keep active in committee, please notify Natwana Austin before December 9th. That's before Thursday's council meeting. Uh, chairs, when you hear your committee, please proceed with your committee announcements. Um, there are no announcements for economic and community development. And next would be education, workforce, and youth. No announcements. Thank you, Madam Press, Vice President. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, health, environment, and technology. Thank you, Madam Vice President. The Health, Environment, and Technology Committee actually have several bills. Um, several announcements. The Health, Environment, and Technology Committee will hold a work session on Wednesday, December the 15th. 2021 at 10 a.m. on resolution 21-0039R, violence against women and overlook public health crisis on Wednesday, January the 12th, 2022 at 10 a.m. The committee will hold a work session on resolution 21-00, excuse me, 0003R, informational here in Baltimore's COVID-19 vaccination plan. On January 12, 2022 at 10.01 a.m., the committee will hold a work session 
on Resolution 21-0052R, Informational Hearing, Baltimore City Employees Safe Transition to Work After COVID-19, on Wednesday, January the 19th, 2022, at 10 a.m., the committee will hold a hearing on Resolution 21-0075R, Global Warming Solutions, Carbon Neutral City, on Wednesday, February the 9th, 2022, at 10 a.m., the committee will hold a hearing on Resolution 21-0079R, Informational Hearing, Mold and Housing. And finally, on February 9th, 2022, at 10.01 a.m., the committee will hold a hearing on Resolution 21-0064R, Investigational Hearing, Urban Farming. All of the meetings will be conducted virtually through WebEx. Thank you, Madam Vice President. Thank you, Chairwoman McCray. Uh, public safety and government operations. Chairman Conway. Thank you, Madam Vice President. No, no, uh, no announcements today. Thank you. Uh, rules and legislative oversight, Chairman Schleifer. Madam Vice President, uh, the Rules and Legisl Legislative Oversight Committee will hold a hearing on EA 21-0073 on December 9th at 2 p.m. for Henry Mayo, uh, me member of the Licensing um, and Towing Services Board. Uh, we will also hold a hearing on EA 21-0071 on January 13th at 2 p.m. for Ramsey Harris, member of the Affordable Housing Trust Fund. Uh, we'll also hold a hearing on EA 21-0072 on January 13th at 2.01 uh, p.m for uh, Matthew C. Matthew Hill, member of Affordable Housing Trust Fund. Uh, we will also hold a hearing on EA 21-0075 on January 13th um, at 2.03 p.m. for Katherine Stokes, member of Affordable Housing Trust Fund. Uh, we will also be having a hearing on CC 21-0160 at 2.05 p.m. Uh, for the ordinance of building code Cool Roots. Thank you very much, Madam Vice President. Thank you. Um, and just checking for Councilman Costello for ways and means. I don't, I don't think he can speak, but- It looks, it looks like this thing isn't working. Would you like me to make his announcement for him? Uh, yes. Okay. Go ahead, um, Chairman Schleifer. Yeah, the Ways and Means Committee will hold a hearing on uh, Bill Number 21-0112 on Tuesday, December 14th at 10 a.m. Uh, for uh, reconvening a hearing that was held on October 19, 2021 um, for the Charter Amendment, the Supplementary Criminal Apprehension and Conviction Fund. Uh, the Ways and Means Committee will also hold a hearing on the Biennial Audits Oversight Commission on Monday, January 31st at 5 p.m. Um, to be televised on Charm TV. Thank you very much, Madam Vice President. Councilman, um, yes, you, could, you said January 31st, 2022. I want to mention that. Yes, 2022 you. is the next January 31st. Thank you. Yes, correct. Thank you, uh, Chairman Slifer, for reading Chairman Costello's um, committee announcements. He's having some technical difficulties. Um, we move now to regular announcements. Members, please wait to be recognized to make any regular announcements. Madam Vice President, do you mind if I go yes. back on one of the uh, one of the announcements? Okay, we'll hold off on the regular. Um, is this the announcements for Ways and Means? Oh, uh, no, this is for the Rules and Legislative Oversight. Okay. Uh, so one of the nominees that were previously on, on the agenda um, is going to be at a future uh, hearing. And so therefore the bill number uh, for uh, EA21-0075 that I announced is actually EA21-0074. Um, and that will be held on January 13th, 2022 at 2 or 3 p.m. And that's for Catherine Stokes, member of Affordable Housing Trust Fund. Thank you very much. Thank you for that correction. We all have to get used to now uh, saying 2022 is right around the corner. 
Do we have any regular announcements from any council members? Hearing none, the next meeting of the Baltimore City Council will be held on Thursday, December 9th, 2021 at 5 p.m. At this time, we will recognize a moment of silence for the now, sadly, 316 vi victims of homicide this year, the 1,250 Baltimoreans who have died from COVID-19 since the beginning of the pandemic, and of course, our continued opioid epidemic. There being no further business, this concludes the 23rd meeting of the 73rd term of the Baltimore City Council. We'll now have a moment of silence. Thank you all. This meeting is adjourned.